Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with very interesting questions today. So one of my subscriber has appeared for Amazon Business Analyst role, and these are the questions she shared. There are three questions. The question number one and two are relatively easy, and the third one is tricky. So we will solve all three questions based on this data, and we'll see how we can step by step solve these questions. We will learn a lot of things in this video uh, about aggregation, advanced aggregation, uh, case when, so watch till end. It will be a very interesting learning for you. Okay, so we have a subscriber table, right? Let's say you can say Amazon Prime subscribers or any subscription based service where the customer can subscribe multiple times. For example, in March, he subscribed and there will be different plan value, right? This is 7.99 plan, this is 5.99 plan, this is 4.99 plan, right? So we have customer ID, month and plan value, right? And then we have to, I have modified the data uh, so that we cover all the corner cases and we will use that data to solve these problems. Okay, so first question is easy. Number of unique customers. So this is easy, I think we have done it many times. Um, so we will say select. So this is my subscriber table. I have put subscription date instead of month and plan value, right? So if I want number of unique customer, I just say count of distinct customer ID. Right? And that will give me number of unique customers, right? Six customers are there. So this is an easy one. Let's move on to the next one. So next one is... Uh, Next one is for each customer calculate the minimum and maximum spent. This is also easy, right? For each customer, for example, customer ID one, minimum spend is 499, maximum is 799. For customer ID two, minimum is 499, maximum is 799, right? So likewise we have to do. So again, it is an easy one. So we will say select each customer. So we will say customer ID, right? And group by customer ID and just minimum will give me minimum spend minimum of plan value and then max of plan value you can give some name plan value right that's it so if I run this uh, it is minimum is 499 799 for some customer, it is 499, 499, likewise, 79, 799, 799. Okay, so this is fine. These two questions were very straightforward. Let's move on to the last question. Okay, so Prageti has shared it with me. So write a question, uh, sorry, write a query to find customers who have upgraded at least once in their lifetime, downgraded at least one in their lifetime, right? Not just that, actually we want all customers in output and we want two columns, ever upgraded, ever downgraded, right? So let me show you. So this is my sample data and expected output, right? So if you see customer ID one, right? His first plan was 799, second was in April, right? March, April, 599 and then 499. He has never upgraded always downgraded so has ever downgraded yes has ever upgraded no so this kind of column we want right for all the customers look at customer three right if you look at three he has upgraded and upgraded never went down right so has upgraded yes has downgraded no okay now look at customer four customer four started with 499 right 499 you can see let me take it more. Yeah, so 499, then he upgraded to 599. These are the rows of customer ID 4, right? 499, then 599. So upgraded at least once he upgraded. So it is yes. Then downgraded, right? 599 to 499. So at least one downgraded, yes. He has upgraded again, but we don't care. If he has upgraded at least once, we are done, right? Look at 5, 17, 799, 799. So neither upgraded nor downgraded. Right? Similarly, for 6, there is only one plan. He purchased only once. So 
so never upgrade it never downgrade it right this is what we want in the output let's see how we can solve it in a very easy way great so let's go back here uh, let me connect yeah so this is my table currently right so what i need to compare each plan with the previous plan right if the current plan value is greater than previous plan value then it is upgraded if current plan value right is less than previous plan value then it is downgraded right so we will use lead lag function right we will use lag function to get the previous value so i will say select comma lag it will give me previous value of what plan value right by lag by 1 right over now for each customer we need partition by customer id right order by order by subscription date right let me remove it we don't need it for now as previous plan value so this is the current plan value and we are getting the previous plan value with this so if you see for first row there is no previous plan so we are getting null right now for second if you see 599 and previous was 799 so it means from 799 this guy has gone to 599 which is a downgrade again from uh, 599 to 499 right previous plan was 599 current is 499 so again a downgrade right so we need to compare these two columns and say if it so we will create a flag and that flag will tell me if it is an upgrade or downgrade okay so we will create a flag and we will say if it is an upgrade or downgrade so we will create two columns one for upgrade one for downgrade great so we will say case when what also we will do we want to do this null handling right so instead of null because we can't compare null with anything so i will say default value take the current value itself right so there is no previous value but we can consider previous value as current value only it doesn't matter right so this this null is gone now now i will create a column and say case when current plan value right is greater than previous plan value right then one else zero and as has upgraded sorry plan right has upgraded so this column will call tell me that if it is upgraded or not right okay we can't do here in this right because this is a derived column we can't use here so we will have to create a ct and then use this so let me say with ct as this and then i will run this select star comma case when from ct now it should be fine okay so let's run this so what i'm saying has upgraded or not right so previous plan value 1799 current is also 99 so it is not upgraded it is downgraded so it is zero whenever the current plan value is greater than previous plan value then in that case it will be one see 599 is greater than 499 799 is greater than 599 and so on and so forth similarly we will create a column for downgrade if the plan value is less than which means previous plan value is greater than plan value then it is a downgrade has downgrade right so let's create this column so if you see this is fine no, neither downgrade nor upgrade both are zero right but this is one right 599 uh, it is downgrade 799 to 599 599 to 499 Similarly, 799 to 599. So wherever it is a downgrade, it is a downgrade. Now, if you look at the question, it is saying you have to find, uh, you have to create a flag which says has ever upgraded. So we don't care how many times a person has upgraded or downgraded, right? Only once he has upgraded, then we are good. Or only once he has downgraded, we are good to create that flag. So for each customer, 
so i will say customer id right group by customer id <coughs> and then i will take max of this these flags that we have created because if at least one value is one let's say for has upgraded customer id one if at least one value is one i will get one right because the max of zero and one will be one but if everything is zero so for has upgraded is never there so max will also be zero right so if i take max i will get a flag that ever this person has upgraded or not ever this person has downgraded or not right so if i take max because i don't care how many times he has upgraded or downgraded we just want to see has he ever upgraded or has he ever downgraded right similarly downgraded flag will be one if at least once he has downgraded and max will give me one right so let me run this so now we got this customer id one has upgraded at least once no zero has downgraded yes once right now in the output we want no and yes right instead of zero and one so i'll just put one more case statement and i will say case when you can create another ct to simplify it now here we need integer values because i want max i can't directly say yes and no right because i want max value so one and zero will make sense so i'm saying case when this value that i have derived max equal to one then i will say yes else i will say no and right that's it so if i run this now i'm saying no yes no yes right and similarly i can just do for this so i'll say case when and this i can as it is copy paste that's it let's run this so i'm getting no yes no yes right this is the expected output right now there can be multiple ways of solving this problem right i will ask you to solve this with some other method not with uh, not with this method maybe cell join or something else whatever you can think of and let me know in the comment section right and if you think you have a solution which is simpler and better than this again i will check in the comment section do do let me know and keep watching the videos on my youtube channel like them subscribe to the channel if you have not thanks for watching have a good day